Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be, sadly, live building my last set that I got for Christmas. It's the last one. It's the final one. Garmadon, Garmadon, Garmadon. So, this is like the biggest, it's not the biggest, the ATM6 was the biggest, which I didn't live build that one, but I have a time lapse coming out. So, uh, I'm working on editing it. Um, so, basically, this is the last set I got for Christmas. It's the last one I have from Christmas that is still not built. So, let's go ahead and crack it open. We'll get rocking, get rolling, turn the music on. Music is like a customary in these. Hey, two people join. Yeah. Music is like a customary in these streams now. I feel like we're going somewhere good with these. All right. There's the stickers and the instruction book. I like where they're going with the one instruction book. I was kind of upset yesterday when I built the streets of Snake Jaguar and they had two. Oh, wow, this is not going to take very long. First, and I got that for Christmas, too, says Lego Tube Productions. That's dope. This is a very cool set. Indeed. I like a lot. All right, this bag four. Bag three. Oh. Six. Five. All right, here's bag one. I got it right here. And then... Bag two. Where do we build the green ninja? Wait. Lloyd's not in the first bag. Oh, he's in the third bag. Okay. Two. Eight, five. Six. Set those off to the side. Ah! I'm gonna set them off to the side. And get down main bag right here. Why am I dumping the pieces out before I open the instruction book? It's so weird. Ah, there we go. I got them. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells fresh. Ugh. It smells fresh. Oh, I haven't built an instruction book like this for a long time. So, the way this is broken down, you can kind of see it here. And then you put, like, the fins on at the very end. So. It's only 830 pieces, which, honestly, for me, is not that much. So what we're going to do is we're going to aim down a little bit. Like, right there. Oh, there's an open blade there. We're not going to do that. All right. Let's rock and roll. It's building time. So I went and yeah, so okay, okay, so here's a great story. So yesterday, me and a bunch of friends from my school were thinking, hey, let's go see Jumanji before school goes back. School goes back for us on Tuesday. So we're like, hey, let's go see Jumanji. So we pull up to the movie theater and um, we try to get tickets for Jumanji. Well, it turns out Jumanji is actually sold out. So, instinctively, we think, well, we're already here. Let's just see a movie anyway. Because we took the time to drive out there and everything, and we're just out there. So we're like, yeah, let's see a movie. So we ended up seeing The Last Jedi, which was a second time for me. And uh, it was a first for a couple people. Man, I feel like I'm yelling over this music. Um, it was a first for a couple people. And I know for me, it was my second time. And then for one of my other friends, it was a third. So it was really fun. And as I watched it over again... I think once I get my new studio up, the first thing I'm going to upload, <laughs> this guy, this is like the best minifigure ever right here. So the one video that I'm going to upload, by the way, I'm putting all the minifigures behind me. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to attempt 
to make a recreation of the Finn V Phasma scene. So, um, like where Finn fights Phasma on the Star Destroyer, on Snoke's Star Destroyer. Um, because I have Finn and I have Phasma. I have like the old version of both of them though. I need to get like a first order officer skin or whatever or uh body. I don't know why why did I say skin? I'm thinking Minecraft, I think. Um and also I need to get a staff for Phasma. I have the little uh the electro staffs like that the riot troopers use cuz I got that set. I actually live build built that set. That was my first live build was that um set the first order battle pack. Or no, it was the First Order Trooper Pack or something. I forgot what it was called. Okay. So we're building a hot dog stand here. And definitely once I get my new studio set up and rolling, these builds are going to be even better. Because I'm planning on... That's a different step. What am I doing? Um, I'm planning on getting the Millennium Falcon for the Han Solo movie, depending on how it looks. But I want to get it just because it's a collector's thing. And they'll, like, after the movie, they'll probably never make it again. So it's kind of a collector's thing so i want to get that and then i'll get i don't know i don't know like what good sets they're gonna be for that because they they haven't okay let's stop with the ads i'm waiting there we go um honestly they haven't come forward and said what the sets are actually gonna be i guess they're waiting for disney to either like make a list like, no, wait, no. They're, I think they're waiting for Disney to either release a trailer or be like, here, leak it. Let's get a little publicity about our movie. Because, honestly, it's probably not that much positive publicity. Honestly, I think it'll get revealed at Toy Fair in a month. Like, in about a month from now, I think it'll be covered um, on in uh, Toy Fair. Because that's usually when they reveal all their new sets. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the um the new ninjago sets are there the season nine sets i hope they're there and that we can see them because i love oh you know what else will be there i guarantee you the infinity war sets and the um jurassic world 2 sets i guarantee you those will be there too because they had the original jurassic world sets there and they had the age of ultron sets there so i like to do toy fair so i can scope out and see like, how much sets are going to be, so I know, like, okay, I need to start saving for this set now. So, maybe I'll make a video on that, like, Toy Fair 2018 predictions. I definitely think they're going to show Han Solo, uh, in, uh, in Avengers Infinity War, and Jurassic World. I think those are the three. And then they might show us a third wave of the Ninjago movie. Which, I don't know, honestly, what would be in the third wave other than, like, all those shark vehicles from the video game that we keep seeing. That, which, by the way, shameless plug, go watch my, uh, Let's Play, or the walkthrough of the Ninjago movie video game. You'll see. They have, like, the shark... The shark people have really dope ships. Like, they have hammerhead drop ships, which I really want that to be a set. I would buy that, because it looks really cool. And then they've got, like, these tiny little shark speeders... They're like shark skis, and then they have um, giant crab mechs. And I think those would all three be really cool set ideas. And honestly, like, they've already designed it because they had to design it for the movie. So, there's not that much effort left going into it to, like, actually make it a set. They just have to get it off the game. So, let's see, what else? Uh, hmm. What else could they show at Toy Fair? I don't know. Didn't isn't Nexo Nights over? I think they ended Nexo Nights. Um, which, not that I'm sad to see it go. I just think it went a lot earlier. I think they were. <sighs> All right, here comes another mini rant. So, I think the problem with Nexo Nights is they tried to copy Ninjago too much. They tried to replicate their success with Ninjago by pushing out Nexo Knights. And they just, they didn't. They didn't. Honestly, if they want 
to pick up a good theme, they should just start making Lego Troll Hunter sets. I'm not even kidding. Let's get some Lego Troll Hunter sets up in here. Because that is also a show made by the Hageman Brothers. And you see, when you make stuff from the Hageman Brothers, it's pretty successful. Am I right? <clears throat> Lego, get on Lego Troll Hunters. Let's go. I'd buy that. I love Troll Hunters. It's such a good show. And I actually finished all of season two in the first two days. Um, granted, there were, what, like 13, 12, 13, 22 minute episodes, and I finished all of them in the first, like, two days. So, I was also sick, so I couldn't really do much anyway, so I was just sitting there binge watching it. It was a really great second season. Although there were some things that I didn't like. Like, you know. Yeah, it did. It went from... Eager Bread brought up a good point. It did go from Galaxy... What did, what did you say? It went from Monster Hunters to Galaxy Squad to Nexo Knights. Very true. It did. It was. A, it's a really fast transition. They change based on what's selling. Um, and honestly, I think Troll Hunters would sell really well. I don't... I think they're missing an, a great opportunity here. There's a huge fan base that would buy it. And think about it. It's Knights. Essentially, it could be... It could essentially take the place of Nexo Knights because they're basically knights. <sighs> These ads put me in the worst mood. I'm going to activate my YouTube Red for the next live build. I have a three-month free trial, and I just have to use it before uh, April 1st, I think. So I essentially have to use it before Easter. I laughed when my mom was like, oh, Easter is on... Um... <clears throat> Easter is on... Uh, April Fool's Day this year. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so funny. And then there was a movie I saw that comes out on April 20th. And I was like, <laughs> if there's not a weed joke in there, it's real sad. Oh, no, 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 no. The sticker has to go on right. Come on. There we go. I got it. Yeah. It's a hot dog stand on wheels. Hot dog. Look at that flag there. Look at it wave in the wind. This is funny because this is like the exact hot dog stand he crushes with the Garma Mecha Man. Like 20 minutes after the first attack. Um, let's see. I don't need, I need one of these. Yeah. And then I need two of these. And I think I got everything. No, I need these. Yes, the wee Gucci. All right. What was I talking about? I think all of that branched off of Toy Fair, and what they're gonna show at Toy Fair. So I have my I have high hopes for Toy Fair, and I have high hopes for the Infinity War sets, because if the Infinity War sets aren't good, then they've basically lost their huge Marvel set population for 2018. Because there's not another big Marvel movie like this that's releasing this year that is gonna spike sales like avengers would like sure there's ant-man and the wasp and there's black panther but they're not gonna sell a lot of sets for ant-man and the wasp they'll probably make like one set for that movie if they make any at all music calm yourself just a little bit just calm yourself just a tiny bit so i'm mean, honestly I'm expecting great figures. I don't like the Thanos. I saw a leak of the Thanos figure. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Um, I thought it was mediocre. I don't like how they did it. I think they need to stray away from big figs. Lego, move on. Big figs are not your life. What is this supposed to be? This looks like hair. I'm not even kidding. Look at it. It looks like hair. Does it not kind of look like hair? You can see it. Yeah, it kind of looks like hair. I'm not gonna lie. It looks a lot like hair. Okay. So what we do is this. Oh, this is actually a really inventive build here. Good, I good job. Good idea. So I put this on here. Let me slide this in there. I also have high hopes for the Jurassic World two sets. 
I really want those to be good. I want good dinosaur pieces. I want good vehicles. I want good everything. And this piece is too long. Unless I did something wrong. I think I did something wrong. I don't think I'm doing something right here. Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. Hold on. I gotta length check this piece and make sure it's the right length. Otherwise they just sold me a faulty set. Okay. <laughs> and then it shows pushing this one. Oh, I didn't have it pushed in all the way. Never mind. I got it. We Gucci. All right, now I get another hot dog. And oh, 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 we stick it. We stick it in a secret compartment here. Shh, shh, we can't talk about this. Shh, 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 look. Boop. It's not embarrassing. I make mistakes all the time, dude. Should be here more often. Hot dog cart goes up there. Okay, time to start the shark. Man, I'm really looking forward to finishing this. Not because I want to be done with the stream, but because I want to see it, like, physically. I haven't seen it. I've seen it in the movie. It's really dope in the movie. Um, but I haven't seen it IRL yet. Eh. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. Rebel's probably going to be hitting up my phone. In a minute, because he doesn't have school today, because it's snowing where he lives, and he got a snow day, so he's off all day today. Um, I'm not, sadly. I have to work. Man, you know, it's fine. I, I, I mean, uh, what am I talking about? I have to work tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow and Saturday. So, it's fine. I'm getting money. I'm so... Sick of my IQ and the QuickBook self-employed app. I'm not self-employed. Stop. Just, man, I'm done. Wha? <laughs> Gotta put all these pieces together. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Wait. Nope, I did that wrong. Not paying attention. I'm also going to say right now that I'm working on a video that will have a pretty huge announcement in it. Um, are they supposed to all be off like that? I don't think they are, but we're going to leave it. Yo! I've been looking for this song for so long! So, Opera Studios 82 used this and no no face reveal stop I'm not doing a face reveal ah i just dropped a piece i've been so aubrey studios 82 last year when he did a 2016 like demo reel or whatever he used song in that video and i left him like a comment and i was like hey what song is this it's a really good song he didn't respond which is fine, because I wasn't expecting him to respond anyway. Um, so then I was like, hey Siri, what's this song? Um, like I asked Siri, um, what song is this? And she didn't recognize it as a recognizable song. Like most YouTube, um, most YouTube uh, songs like this, like the no copyright stuff, doesn't pop up because it's not copyrighted. If it were copyrighted, it would probably pop up. So it didn't, and I'm just really excited now because I found it. I'm going to use it in a video. It's a great song. I just now realized that this is not the same scale as in the movie. It looks like it is, but it's not. It's all a lie. Stop with the mile IQ. I'm gonna make like a 20 minute video. Dear mile IQ, take your ads off YouTube, please. I don't want to listen to them anymore. And I'll be like, kid, we don't care. 
Like, we don't care. Just stop. And I'll be like, you better care. I'm your biggest support. What? Wait. Where does this go? Where does this go? Okay. It goes right here. Question mark? Wait. Oh. Oh. I'm skipping a step. Man, I'm not paying attention. Gotta do this first. Then we can do this one. With this going here. And this going here. There we go. And then it's got like a... I got you. I got you. Alright. Thank. Alright, let's keep going. We're on a roll here. Whoa. Man, this is the end, guys. Like, once this set is over, I have to think about the crude reality that I have school next week. And I don't want to have school next week because I don't like half my... Actually, I take that back. I do like half my classes. There are two classes that I don't like. Three if you count math, but I'm kind of... I'm hot and cold with the math. Um, but yeah, whoa. I got a chicken sandwich and a chicken sandwich with a sandwich from the gym tonight. And then my dad got to get it back. And I'm going getting and I'm going getting my car, dad, and I got that's really confusing. Yes, Spanish is my favorite class. It's so much fun. Spanish is fun, guys. Alright. Uh huh. There we go. Uh-huh. There we go. This, I, I don't think this is going to be a hard build, honestly. The only thing I'm concerned about is, like, the Technic on the legs, because I don't like Technic. If anybody watched my Quake Mech last build, you'll know my opinions on Technic. Man, very strong feelings towards Technic. Dear LEGO Technic, I don't like your complicated interclicking style that is not similar of lego bricks sure you have integrated your pieces into lego bricks but i don't like that i just want you to be normal legos sincerely the lego maniac oh i also was gonna say i'm working on here it is the quickbook self-employed app i swear you guys are just gonna come to the channel one day and it's gonna be like quickbook self-employed app uh, commercial remake in Lego. Quick book of strike me down. Stop! You can't do that! It's illegal. Wait. Am I supposed to have these extra teeth pieces? Nope, I'm not. I didn't think I was. I was like, I'm not supposed to have extra teeth pieces. They wouldn't give me those. Yeah, I didn't think so. Gotta be likey. All right, extra pieces, you get to go over here. I just dropped one. Hold on. Mm. All right, bag two. Here we go. <laughs> it is I, the dreaded stepping door. Ah. Hey, braces, kid. These are like the ugly things that uh, like parents had to wear. ASMR. I like that noise. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to do a remake. If you go on my channel and you look at the Warriors music video, if you can find it and watch it, I'm going to make a remake of that using essentially better animation, better camera angles. I'm going to spend like two months on it so it looks really good. It'll be my best animation ever. And it'll get me like a, th a trillion subscribers and I'll be more popular than PewDiePie. Yeah! That's my game plan. Yeah. Basically because I made that when I was like 
12. And I thought it was good. Um, and it really wasn't. Like, looking back on it now, I could have sped up, like, the frame rate. Like, I can't stand to go back and watch any of my old stop motions just because the frame rate is so bad. I can't handle the slow frame rate. And I don't watch them. Oh, he's supposed to have this armor piece on the back. I'm sorry. I have a lot of shark people now. Yeah. Yeah. Shark boy. <gasps> Guys! It's Shark Boy and Lava Girl! Ugh! That was a terrible reference. That was like one of the worst Disney Channel original movies ever of all time. Where is the hammer? I can't stop hammer time without the hammer. There it is. I see it. Here it is. The fish is the. The fish is worthy to hold Mjolnir in his mouth. I think LEGO needs to rethink their pricing on this set. I'm not going to lie. It's like, what, $80 for 830 pieces? Six minifigures? Give me two more minifigures. Give me two more ninjas. And we Gucci. Actually, no. You could give us uh, uh, Coco. You can give us Coco and make it a complete Garmadon family set. Get it? Because Garmadon is in the name three times. Garmadon, Garmadon, Garmadon. <laughs> Lord Garmadon, Lloyd Garmadon, Coco Garmadon. Garmadon, Garmadon, Garmadon. Lego, you're missing out on million dollar ideas here. I think for, 27, for 2018, when it's over in a year, you know, like 12 months when it's over, I'm going to make a remake, a remix. And it's going to be the best of the Lego Maniacs 27, 2018. Which, by the way, I actually, today, just today, I commissioned a new profile picture to be drawn for me. So I have a new profile picture in the works, so I don't have to use the one I have. And it's going to be, like, actually a decent one. And it's going to look good. And it'll be, like, the profile picture for a long time. Because the problem is, even though it's my friend doing it, I still have to pay her, like, a commission fee to draw it. And when I pay for it, I want it to be the logo for a long time. That's kind of my thing with the Ninja Does YouTube one. It it lasted for a while. It's the longest time I've had any one profile picture. But, it's, <clears throat> like, I'm not going to put a channel name on either of my new profile pictures. So that way, if I do end up changing, like, one of my channel names later, for some reason, I'm not going to change it. Don't worry. Um, but if for some reason I have to change it, um, the the art, the channel, like, profile picture can just stay the same. And I don't have to worry about, like, worry. Because when there's a name on it and the name changes, it's like, oh, this is completely irrelevant and useless because the name's not the same now. So, wait a minute. Uh, I need to stop doing things wrong. I'm not paying attention. I like thinking I know what I'm doing. It's just a thought. Brick separators are so helpful. Woo! I'm gonna push this down. Actually, I probably need that there. Okay, that. Black. Gray. Black. Gray. Black. Then I need one of these to go here. And then I need these and this. And these are gonna go here and here. Yep. And actually, I forgot to tell you guys, my friend who is doing the commission um, to draw that, she's actually re a, like a really good drawer. Um, and she's gonna be starting up her own YouTube channel for like doing speed art and gaming and stuff. So you definitely want to, I'll let you guys know when that goes up. And maybe I'll post like a speed draw of the picture she does and then link her channel or whatever. So if you like it, you can go sub there and watch it. Cause art, not my place. I'm not good at art. <laughs> like if you saw any of my art, you would like want to tear your eyes out. That's how bad it is. It's really bad. 
And I wouldn't blame you for wanting to tear your eyes out because I do too. When I see my art, I'm like, oh, it burns. Stop. Um, it's really bad. Okay. I also wouldn't mind doing the uh, Luke and Kylo scene on Crate or the Ray versus Luke scene on Octu. 2 um, from The Last Jedi. I wouldn't mind doing those in stop motion. I like those. I need to get a Kylo Ren with, like, the mask off, his, like, his proper face. Um, because I don't have his proper face. And I'm glad that it's in, like, the A-Wing set or whatever. The micro fighter without the helmet. Because it's a great way to get the new Kylo Ren for cheap without having to buy, what's his name? The TIE Fighter? It's the only set he's in. Well, the only main... Main lines that he's in. He should have been in Snoke's Star Destroyer. And honestly, he should have been in the... Or no. Honestly, Luke should have been in the ATM-6 set. That would have been a great minifigure to add. Like, Luke in his crazy outfit in the ATM-6 set. The Heavy Assault Walker. There's a set right there. That's That would entice people to buy the walker more than... You know, they already want to. Because the walk's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? You feel... Do you smell what I am cooking? Even though I am not The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh my gosh. Tush, tush, gosh. Uh -huh. There we go. Boop. Boop. Look at that shark. This is really cool. This is a really cool idea. These shark, like, honestly, people give it flack. They're like, sharks, that's so weird. That's not Lord Garmadad. But in reality, like... This is a really cool idea. It's a medium they haven't explored. And it's something new. And Lego is always trying to do things that are new. And I think this is a great step in the right direction. It's like, okay, we want to sell stuff. We can attach the Ninjago name to it. What do we want to sell? We want to try something new with sharks. Ninjago and sharks. Okay, great. Put it on a box. Let's sell it, kids. Let's do it. All right, I'm trying to figure out where everything goes. Cause like on the instructions, I don't know if you can see, it just kind of gives you a thing. And it's like, here, look at this. Um, okay. Ugh. 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 Yeah, okay, I almost started that off really bad. So, the YouTube adpocalypse has started to affect me and it's not in the way you think. That sounds like a really clickbaity article. The YouTube adpocalypse is back, but not how you think. Um, so, it's not like I've been losing revenue, because I don't make that much revenue to begin with. It's kind of just, like, stockpiling in my PayPal account. Um, so, basically, what happened is I went on to... One of the, I think it was the Ray Brickheads live stream. I went to enable monetization and everything. It let me enable monetization. And I put like the, the mid-roll ads. I did everything. All the editing was done. And I uploaded it later that day. Which I'm going to start just uploading the streams the day they are done. Because then it's a lot easier. And I don't have to worry about putting it on like a schedule. Um... So what happened is I come back a couple hours later. It's got the little yellow monetization thing on it. And I'm like, what could possibly be in a Lego stream that is not suitable for all advertisers? And that's the thing. It doesn't tell you where you went wrong. It's just like, uh, our system detected a glitch and your video is not suitable for all advertisers. So you, uh, um, uh, your, your monetization is limited. So, it didn't tell me what part of my video was wrong. 
It didn't tell me why my video was wrong. It didn't... Okay. My phone's obviously listening to me because it just started playing a Lego Friends ad. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> so, anyway. I come back. It's not demonetized, but it's not... Like, it's got, like, the yellow monetization thing. It's limited. So I'm really upset. So I request manual review. And they're like, we'll give it a thing. We'll give it a look if it gets a thousand views in over a week. And I'm like, a thousand views? That's a lot of watch time that you're losing. That's a lot of monetization watch time that you're losing because your system detected a glitch and is stupid. So I requested it. I don't know what it is right now. I could probably look. It would interrupt the music because I'm like too bread. Um, and honestly, I don't care. It's not gonna look like it's not gonna make that much anyway. My videos are more like they get uploaded and then they sit there for a while before they get views. Like I went back and I looked at the Quake Mac Live build and it's been like a week since I've done it and it's gotten like double more views than when it was first uploaded. So it takes a while for them to get views, but they still get views. So I come back a couple hours later. I usually check my stuff quite frequently so I can respond to like your guys' comments and all that kind of stuff. I come back, Lego Ninjago Movie Video Game, part three, limited monetization. Same reason as the Brickhead. Didn't tell me what's wrong with it. It just said, oh, your video has limited monetization. Request manual review. So that's two videos that have been struck down. If my Sons of Garmadon trailer release date video gets struck down, I know they're just striking down for the sake of striking down because there's nothing wrong in that video. I can tell you. It's it's like not even a minute and 30 seconds. It's under a minute and 30 seconds. Which, oddly enough, I'm like the only YouTuber that covered that. Usually within like six hours of Tommy Andreas and tweeting that, you'd see like, Ryan and David chill. Ninjago! Sons of Government on trailer release date. Confirmed. Like, I didn't want to go as far to say as confirmed because Tommy was like, hey, listen, it may happen. It may not happen. I'm not going to say anything. Um, so it could be happening tomorrow. And just so you guys know, if I don't cover it right away, if it comes out at like noon and I don't cover it right away, I have work until two o'clock. So I, it, I wouldn't have a video up till like three. So... If I don't cover it right away, that's why. I'm at work. Which I'll probably post something on Instagram about that. Because I'll probably watch it at work while I'm on my lunch break. And I'll see, like, oh, I should probably subscribe to, like, a YouTube channel tonight. Oh, dang. Here comes Lord Garmy. The one scene in that freaking movie that made me cringe. You're, you turned him against you, Garm. <gasps> I should make a Ninjago movie unnecessary censored video. Yes. Dude, that'd be so funny. And get bleep my life. Actually, no, that wouldn't make sense. You turn me against you, bleep. General number bleep. Yes, Lord bleep. I don't know. I'd have to work on it. Unnecessary censored video is so funny, though. All right, look at those extra hot dog pieces there. Oof, man. All right, I'm sitting here waiting. The video's over. I'm going to wait for this ad to pop up. Yep, I called it. I knew it. See, the problem was with all these ads, though, they royalty-free music, too. All right. I now have... Um... Hold on. I now have three Laloid figures. Four, technically, if you count one, the one sealed poly bag I have. Because I have two of those, like, ninja robe poly bag. Like, the one where he's, like, half clothed in his normal clothes, and then he's, like, unzipping his jacket to put his ninja suit on. I have two of those. I opened one of them. One of them is closed. I want to keep one of them closed. Um, and I'm going to put, I'm going to put a lot of my stuff on display. Like I have, um, the, uh, what is it? I'm going to get ladder shelves for my new room. Uh, 
And then I'm going to get some of that black Maker tape and put it on like the edge of the shelves, like the thick part of the shelf, like right before, um, like right where, um, I don't know, like the thickness of the shelf, the thick part at the end of the shelf. Um, I'm going to put some there and then I'm going to stick the minifigures on by like the back of their legs, like the pegs on the back of their legs. Can I do this? You can't stick garment on on like this. They keep you from making that mistake because they're like, come on, we know you're not that stupid. All right, where's Garmadon's signature helmet? Here it is, right here. And then he only gets two swords. Poor Garmadon. I mean, honestly, Lloyd only gets one, but Lloyd is a super secret ninja that runs around the city every day in a giant green dragon, which isn't very secretive at all. There we go. I was really excited to open this because I didn't have a movie garment on. So. Eh. Ah! Oh! Burn! Burn! You ads. Burn. I want all ads to burn. Actually, technically, if ads, did, I wouldn't be making money. I mean, honestly, it shocked Rebel when I told him how much I had made. Which, it's not that much. Um, but he, like, was shocked. He was like, wait, you made how much just by uploading videos about Legos? And I was like, yeah. It's insane. Which, some of my revenue is split from gaming videos. Not all of it's Lego. Like, some of it's the Star Wars of Force of Evil video. But most of it is Lego. Like, it just completely blew his mind, rocked his world. He was shocked. At the fact that someone could upload something so ridiculous and get paid for it. I'm just going to put this together like this. Like this. So, I mean... I don't know what... I mean, it was kind of cool. I like making money off of... Like, the only reason I started uploading leg videos is because... I had started getting into it, like, getting into LEGO pretty heavily. The the real thing that influenced me to start getting into LEGO seriously was the LEGO movie. And I know, as, like, cliche and copy-paste as that sounds, the LEGO movie did get me into collecting LEGOs instead of action figures. Um... I just found that Legos were kind of cooler than action figures. The Clone Wars had just ended, which means I wasn't going to get any more Clone Wars figures. And um, there's a lot of stuff contributed to it. Definitely, I think it was Hasbro's neglect of quality at that time. They had pretty much, like, they dropped off in quality. They had all kinds of articulation. And even my best friend was like, hey... You know, they've dropped in quality. It's not worth it anymore. Now they're kind of backpedaling on that. They're getting a little better quality with, like, the Black Series and stuff. But they're not really getting anywhere. Um, so I started getting into Lego a lot. And I basically started uploading these because I had a lot of Legos. And I was like, hey, maybe people would like... I just... Like, I wanted to share my collection with other people that I, like, that I didn't see every day. Like, I saw my friends pretty constantly. Um, so they got insides and, like, updates on my collection and stuff all the time. And I wanted to share with more people my collection. And that's why I started doing Lego videos is because I like sharing my collection. I like showing you guys building stuff. Like, it's fun to do and then of course you have like the whole gaming channel not a gaming channel all that crap um i'm missing a piece either i'm missing a piece or i've gone blind i'm probably just going blind i think it's the second one okay seriously where is this piece i'm gonna find it and like i'm just completely face plant um i don't see it where is it We might not be able to move forward. This could be an issue. Uh, oh, 
my god. Boy, I looked at the same step twice. My god. I didn't think I could get any more retarded, but I mean. You sometimes it sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? What? Oh, this is so solemn. It sounds like something out of a Nintendo game. Uh, I only hear exceptional songs every now and then. So, I'm going to add that to my list of things to download at a later date. I have like a playlist of 300 some songs for me to just download via my secret freeway of downloading things. It's not illegal, I swear. It's completely legal. I don't have to like hack the government and be like, hey, Donald Trump, give me this stuff for free. Um... So, I know this. Boop, 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 beep, boop. Uh. Uh. All right, one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. Oh, this is like the shelter for the eyes. I see. I don't know if I'm going to put this in my room. I have like such a limited space in there right now. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, I'm building these sets and I don't know where I'm going to put them. It's fine. I'll figure it out. All right, this goes here. Ugh. There we go. I'm hoping that once I get my new studio set up, it doesn't have to be like from this angle and it can just be overhead. So then you don't have to worry about my hands or whatever. That's how I used to do time lapses. If you go back and watch some of my older reviews from like last year. I know some of them, like some of the exceptional ones were um, like the, t the tanker truck takedown. I think I did that way. The Gotham Cycle Chase. Um, videos like that. Those videos are definitely um, ones I did. The speed build. Like that. Because I would, I would advertise the video as being unboxing, review, time lapse. And that's how the video was titled, advertised, and that's what I put in it. And then sometimes you get to the point where you're like, eh, I don't really want to do... Um, Maybe I don't want to do the time lapse, or maybe I don't want to do um, the unboxing. Like, sure, I'm, sh I'm, I'm, I can almost guarantee you that at some point, Lego YouTubers get tired of building in front of a camera. And I've had this problem a lot. Um, I get tired of just doing videos. Oh, I dropped that. Um, and I, like, I know there was one set that I forced myself to build on camera and I didn't want to. I don't remember what set it was. But then I got to like the water strider. I got the water strider for Christmas and I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna build this. I'm just gonna build it. No camera, just listen into a podcast and build. And I did that. Now, sure, I'll build big sets on camera because they're big, but I might not build every set I get on camera just because. There we go. Look at that. It looks so good. It's coming together. It's so beautiful. I love it. This is by far one of my favorite Ninjago movie sets. By far. Right here. Uh-huh. 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 Oh. Boom. 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 Oh, these are so good. Oh my gosh, I thought he said something else. Okay, we're good. We get you. Oh man, I wonder if this set is going to take as long as like the Quake Mech did. 
I know the Quake Mech is like an extra 400 pieces, but I'm wondering if it's going to take as long. Because we're about to hit an hour. In like 10 minutes, we're going to hit an hour. And I know I won't be done with the set in 10 minutes unless I get like flash uh, abilities. You know what I mean? Okay. So these clip things go on the outside. Like this. Oh, and these are like the things that we put the little fins on. The little, like, the gills, not the fins. What am I talking about? I need one of these. And two of these. So I can put them towards the back. There we go. Hey! Camera. Are we focused? Okay, we're focused where we're supposed to be. I have to make sure. There we go, okay. Nope, this one. All right, put that there. Put that there. One of these. One. One. Where is it? One. All right, and then I have to go. Stop! Just stop! Stop right now! Stop! 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 <sighs> Enough! All right, now we get the eye. Now here it comes. Ready? Ah! <sighs> then the eye goes in there. Oh, it's so pretty! Look at it. You can see it. It can see now. All right, now we got to do all that over on this side. Let's do it. <clears throat> got to shove that in there. Oh, and once I get my new room set up, all the sets. Like, I have so many sets, I'm not even going to get them all out of boxes. The only ones I'm going to get out are, like, Pose X-Wing, the Millennium Falcon. I'm going to get 99% of my Ninjago sets out. Like, some of them I might not get out, like the Boulder Blaster. I don't really use that one. But I'm going to get most of them out. Like, I mean, honestly, I probably won't get Minecraft back out. I'll have it accessible. Like, I'm going to sort all my sets again. Because the way we packed them, I just kind of threw them all in bags. And then threw all the bags in as many bags as you could fit in a box. So, say I was packing the Garmin on Garmin on Garmin on box. Like, the box for this set. And when we were moving, what we would do is we would take sets, we would break them down. Like, not completely, but we would break them down enough to get them to fit in the bag. So, like, for Poe's X-Wing, I had to unsnap all the wings. And put all the wings in a bag. And then put the bag in a box. And then that box in another box. So I had to do stuff like that. Um, but what I'm going to do once we get all unpacked is I'm going to get, like... Uh, a bunch of bins and label them like Lego Star Wars, Lego Minecraft, Lego Ninjago, and have like rubber tubs of sets that are just in bags with their instructions. And that's something over the summer because honestly, that's just something I can do when I'm bored is like sorting all that because that's going to take a long time to sort and get like all the proper instruction manuals with and all that stuff. It's going to take a long time to do all that. So that's just something I want to do just so it's more organized. And especially since my, like, I want to do the ladder shelves. That's what I want to do for storage. Um, and those can only hold so much and I'm only getting like two or three of those. And since those can only hold so much, I'll probably just rotate sets off. Like say all the Jurassic world stuff is out. I'll leave those on there for a little bit. And then when I need space, I'll take them off and Put something different up there. Um, like, I know if I get both Millennium Falcons. Um, I know both my Millennium Falcons will be on the shelf at all times because I love the Millennium Falcon. The Death Star will be on there if I ever get it. I want to get it. I'll get it eventually. I'm getting around to getting it. Um, the Death Star is very big. will take me much long time. I might not live build it just so I can enjoy and consume the, like, the, stop. I know I'm losing money when I drive. I have to pay for gas, duh. 
Boom. So, I might just absorb the build of the Death Star. Especially, like, like the UCS Millennium Falcon? That thing's gonna take me, like, a week to build. It's so big. I almost lost it when I saw Man, uh, m &R Productions, which I found out that's his name. It's not Man Reproductions. It's, um, m &R Productions. I just didn't... I didn't see the and as its own thing. Um, so, I saw him do a drop test of the Millennium Falcon. When that thing hit the ground, I about lost it. Oh, this is so cool! I didn't even know that was a feature. That's really cool. Hold on, I gotta push some of this down. It's not pushed down all the way. Nom 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 nom. I bet they had a robot just continually do this over and over again. Nom 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 nom. That's so funny. Why couldn't Garmadon have laser sharks? Yes, that would be a great like follow up to especially to the Lego Movie. The like sharks, laser sharks, overbearing assistance. That would have been a great follow up to the Lego Movie. They would have followed through with that joke. Um, so yeah. Anyway, back to the sets. Um, I'll, I probably won't have all my sets displayed. Because you guys know what sets I have, basically. You've seen them on display. Like, I'll definitely get my Guardians of the Galaxy sets out to display. Or at least the Milano. Maybe not the other ones. Uh, but I definitely want to get the Milano out. I like the Milano. It's one of my favorite uh, ships. The Milano. Oh, what else do I have? First Order Transport. I'll definitely be getting that out. Uh, the Temple of Erjitsu is one that I didn't... I didn't pack it away. Um, but it's one that will kind of just permanently stay out because I like it so much. It's actually... I think it's the biggest Lego set I've built to date. Um, all right, boys. Hold on. All right, we gotta build two of these. You know what it is. Everything I do, I do it big. Yeah. Uh, scripting that stunt. When I pulled up the lot, that stunt. I put my town when you see me in the right thing. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Um, I don't really have any Lego Batman movie sets I could display. I don't really have any Lego movie sets that I could display. That's a lie! Wait, I have Benny's spaceship. That will definitely be on display. I love that set. That actually... Nope, nope. The Temple of Ninja 2 is bigger than that. Flip it over! Alright. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it once. And then I come back and do the same thing over again for a second foot. So like it calls for two of these. Put these on there. Done. Two of these. Put these on there. Done. I see this piece trying to roll over here and escape. What do you think you're doing? Alright. And then I need one. One. Where is it? One. One. So we'll start with this one. It goes like this. Done like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gotta get get rid of You and float too. That was like the biggest meme last year. Battlefront 2 memes didn't have a long enough time to be alive to get like the most searched meme. Especially like some of the EA versus Reddit ones, man. Those, they did not have enough lifetime. Those were really me. Hi, I'm EA. I like money. So true though. EA, money hungry. Always. EA, it's all in the DLC. Me and Rebel came up with some really, like, funny puns of some of the DLCs from Battlefront 1. 
I can't say them on here because they're kind of inappropriate and not suitable for all advertisers. So I'll do that on my mon non-monetized channel that is currently just trying to rake in views so that I can get monetization on my gaming channel. I have like the, I have my PayPal account linked up and everything. That's like, oh, you just don't have the minimum number needed to activate monetization. And I'm like, you know what, YouTube, screw you. I lose 10,000 views worth of watch time before I can like start monetizing my videos. That's so stupid. Yep. Uh-huh. Perfect. Okay. Boop. This is some groovy music, dude. Is it weird seeing me build two of the same thing? It's better, it's better doing it this way than having to come back and like flip through all the instructions and build all of it over again. I think it just goes faster this way. It might be a little more tedious. Just because you have to build it twice, but I mean, you're gonna have to build it twice anyway. I almost thought this was a song in the playlist. If I wouldn't have looked at the... If I wouldn't have looked at my phone, I would have thought it was. Okay. Ah, so I have to build like four of these. Detail, man. Lego. Always put in the detail. Lego! It's in the detail. Lego is actually... Honestly, they're a way better company than EA. They don't tax the crap out of you for a video game. They're like, here, have a Lego game. There's a season pass for DLC if you want it, but it's not gonna affect your gameplay if you don't have it. It's not gonna divide the player base if we give you a DLC pack here. So, like there's a Guardians 2, I saw there was a Guardians 2 uh, season pack, or there was like a DLC pack for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And I was like, oh, you know what? I might actually buy the game just so I can play that. Although I usually wait for most of my Lego games to go on sale. Not that I don't, like, not that I don't like them. I just don't want to pay $60 for a game that I'll complete in a week. Um, but, which, I guess you could say that's any video game these days. But really, it isn't. Like, I'm, I don't even have max classes in Battlefront 2, and I've got almost 200 hours on the game already. Makes me cry. Um... I probably have, like, I actually probably do have 200 now. Now that we're entering, like, the post, uh, Christmas break era. Oh, I was like, what am I doing with this? Ah, so these respond to movement. I got you. They're really loose. They're not, like, on there, on there. I got you. Got you, fam. Uh-huh. Okay. So these aren't built a specific way. So they go in here, and then you push this little red pin in here. See that? Okay, hold on. I need to, like, to get the brick separator in here so I can nudge this red pin there all the way. Oh, no, I can't get it in there. Shoot. Well, I got you. I got you. There we go. I kind of got it. There we go. I kind of got it. It it works. All right, now I gotta do it on the other side or on the other one. Come on, come on. Why am I like forcing this? This is. There we go. Okay, I kind of got it. Hold on. There we go. I did it. Woohoo. All right, we're almost there. All 
right? And then gotta double everything. You got to be careful when doing this doubling stuff, though. When you're building two of them, you have to be really careful because sometimes it'll naturally double it for you. Or you have to double it yourself. I've done that a lot. Where it's like giving me enough without doubling it. And then it's giving me reasons, like, it's giving me stuff that I need to double. So, like this right here, this next step with the feet, I just set the pieces aside like this. Then you're not getting confused as to which pieces go to what. You just put the pieces you need aside. I swear, if any more pieces fall off, I'm going to be really frustrated. Okay. Okay, this song is depressing. I don't want to listen to something that's depressing. Okay. I got to respond to Rebel's text message. Hold on. Okay, this is also really depressing. Here we go, the happy song. There we go. Perfect. This literally is the happy song. Bruh. All right, no, stop. Stop, we don't do this. Okay, there we go. Now, excuse me while I do it over again. All right. Sounds like something they play in like uh, Curious George or Caillou or something like that. Okay. So now what we're doing is we're taking two of these, one for each, of course, and then these. And then we're putting them in here. And we're sliding this through part of the way, just for the other foot. And then we're gonna space it apart. Yeah. Slide. This in there. I'm gonna angle this down so that way it doesn't go through all the way. There we go. And push this back up. And then I have to do the like the foot thing over again. I swear, man. These pieces are driving me insane. I'm gonna move this back so I can move these back so I can build a little further up here so it's not as like stupid looking. I kinda know how to build these from memory. Not that, it's not that complicated of a build. All right. Then I just got to get this. All right, there we go. Hey, I don't care about Kellogg's, dude. No one cares about Kellogg's. It's bad for you kids. Don't eat Kellogg's. I just realized I have a Cuphead Let's Play that starts next week that I haven't even... Like, I should probably make the second episode now while I'm still off break. Um, I'll probably wait to do that until, like... No, I probably should have done it this morning. Ugh, I hate break being over. I can focus on YouTube so much when I'm not on break or when I'm on break. Whereas, like, once I go back, I have to start focusing on school and work and Xbox again and YouTube. It's just really chaotic. Okay. What was that noise? Uh. 
<laughs> that was what even was that noise? My god. I'm telling you guys, I'm like half demon. Okay. All right. And then this goes here. Bruh, this is a really intricate build here. All right, let's do that again. Wait, nope. This goes here. And then this goes here. Here. Here and here. And I put it on the other foot. Boop. Now we got two Garmadad feet. And I need two of these, which means I need four of them. So I need. Where's this one going? Is it just going here? Yeah, it's going there and it's going all the way through. And then this one. I'm going here and also going all the way through. Get back before you move. And I need more of these. This brick separator is really getting on my nerves. It's just like right in the middle of the way. Boom. And then this goes here basically just to cover that up. That's great. That's perfect. Look at that. Snap. Boom. Snap, crackle, pop. Okay. Now we bring this over. We put these feet on. If I can figure out how to put these feet on. So we're attaching these. Okay. Stop. I'm fine with ads. Just don't play the same freaking ads over and over again. These all go together like this. And then we can flip it over and boom, it'll stand all by itself. I know the legs move somehow. Oh yeah, I was right. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back in the position it was in before I touched it. Before I decided, hey, let's try to move the legs. We're just going to leave it like this. Okay. Yep, we're going to leave it like that. Is Even if school gets canceled, they still email us our assignments, so we still have to do them. So, if there's like a snow day, we still have to do school. Because the teachers just email us our assignments. So, it's the only downside to being homeschooled, but I get out super early, too. Come on! Ugh, there we go. I got it. All right, now I need five of these blue things. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two. Three. Four, I was upbeat. Five. Dab it up. Guys, 2018, man. Is this, is 2018 going to be the year the dab dies? No. It's not. Because my LEGO 420 video is going to revive the crap out of dabbing. Ah, stop. My ear is itchy. Okay, where does this go? Is it secure on right here? Yes, indeed, my say, my kids. This is where it goes, right there. Now let's spin it around and do that on the other side. Man, I can't believe I'm almost done already. Come on, there we go. Gotta tilt it up a little bit. I know what I'm doing, Lego. You don't need to walk me through it. I don't know how to do this, though. You can walk me through this. 
Um, I am one of the 55 million Americans that drives myself to work. I get up and I fuel myself with gas that is food, and then I drive myself into the room that I'm working in. I probably walk about a mile a day. Just kidding, I walk like 20 feet a day. Do not expect much of me. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. There we go. There we go. All right. One, two, three. Four or five. Here we go. Yeah, bro. Let's go. I have an act for creating rhythm, but I can't make music. I can give you rhythm and stuff, but I can't, like, I couldn't write my own music if I tried. All right, so now, basically, the only thing we're doing in bag five is putting on the, the tail fin, this part, and the top fin. All right, hold on. I got to move the extra pieces out of the way here. Looks like there are going to be some stickers. There we go. Watch that not be royalty free music. Nope. YouTube copyright me so freaking fast to be like, <laughs> you want a monetization? Nope. Slam the bar down. Hi, Rebel. I'm almost done, I swear. Garmy. I, I said I'm almost done. I'll get on Xbox when I'm done. Calm down. Rebel, I'm almost done. I have one bag left. This is literally going to take me like 20 minutes. And then I'll be done. And then I'll get on Xbox. And then I'll record my Cuphead Let's Play for an hour. I'm just kidding. Two, three, four, five. All right. Where is it? I was not paying attention when I started this section, and I didn't get the pieces it told me to get. So, so it's facing like this. I put this here and then flip this over. 
and then put this on like this. Okay. Look, it's pretty. It's pretty one-sided. Not gonna lie. All right, now I gotta do it all over again. <laughs> I'm building this differently than the other one. So one side, I guess, is built differently so that they fit together. Probably. I think that's where they're going. All right. Oh my gosh, this sounds like a music, like a video game again. All right. Looks like a manta ray. See? Well, now it doesn't. It's uneven now. I'm kind of out of things to talk about. That's why I'm just kind of listening to the music. That's why I'm like waiting. Oh, this is the fin, not the other side to the uh, thing. That's why it's built differently. Okay. Here we go. See, it's part of the tail. You can kind of see it there. Look, now I can flip it around. Well, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> Do 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 Now I'm going to pay attention this time and get the pieces that I need beforehand. Okay. I heard you, piece. I heard you hit the ground. Don't think I didn't hear you. All right. Uh, where's the piece I'm looking for? Right here. Stop! I don't care. A freaking Kellogg's. Chocolate. Bleh. Okay. I think now I've got it all. Okay. Let's see. Maybe when I start doing stop motion again, I'll make enough in advance so that I can do like a whole month of stop motion with one stop motion every week. 
maybe like one stop machine every two days or something for a month. Kind of like what Lone Clone was trying to do. Um, like last summer, he was trying to do a thing where he uploaded like a brick film every day or released a brick film every day. Kind of want to do something like that. But I'd have to record it like mega far in advance. I'd also have to go back and figure out what that series was called. So I could do it. Oh, the tail looks so on fleek, dude. Oh! Here comes all of like the fun stuff. So propeller. This thing. This thing. This thing. This thing. Boop. 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 Then this goes on the back here. That's cool. It kind of holds the tail together, too. So two of these, two of these, two of these. Shove that in there. Shove that in there. Boop. Boop. You guys can't really see it just because of the way I have the camera angled. Maybe I'll angle it a little more up. Okay, now we're doing the other side of the top thing. All right. Now we Gucci. Let's do it. Got to do the top part of the vid. <laughs> yeah, so I'm working on a new series. It's not stop motion. Well, it kind of is stop motion related, but it's not like actual stop motion. Um, it's like, I'm going to bring back doing the podcast thing, but it's going to be under a completely different name. Um, and I can't say it for fear that, um, <clears throat> someone might steal it. Um, cough, cough, brick studios <clears throat> might steal it. So I have to keep it under heavy wraps right now until I can actually like upload a video about it saying that it's my idea so because right now it's just an idea and anyone can steal an idea cough cough uh tesla i think stole something and claimed it as his own and got away with it um so ideas can be stolen and right now i'm just safeguarding against my own idea getting stolen so and also like if i made a video about it and he made a video about it like, doing the same thing with the same name and stuff, but I have a video out. I could flag his video for stealing my idea if my video came out before his. That's the only reason, that's like, that's the only place where I would be in a good spot. So, I'm also not paying attention again, and I completely misdid everything here. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. Yep. Okay. Boom. And then this goes like this in the same. Well, this doesn't push down all the way. There we go. It goes like this in the same spot. Uh huh. Yeah, I was right about the holding the stuff together. Stuff. Okay. So then we get one of these. Put this through, and this kind of, the clip holds it together, really. That's a really clever idea, actually. So, yeah. Uh, speaking of animation, I'm definitely doing the Finn versus Phasma one. And I talked to Big Rick Machine about doing some of the special effects. Like, like how the, like, the electricity looks in the movie. So I talked to him about doing some of the special effects for me. 
um, since I can't do, like, I don't have the computer and stuff to do special effects. All right, guys, last bag. I'm actually going to position the camera up a little bit so that you can actually see the shark mech while I'm working on it. Oh, wow, this is like, has to be under 40 pieces for this one bag. Because this is not a lot of pieces. My goodness. I mean, I guess decoration doesn't really require a lot of pieces, but... I mean... Okay. So I need one of these. I need to set the stickers aside real quick. And I need one of these. One of these. One of these. One of these. One. 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 Okay. So, yeah. I'm glad that he's willing to help me out with that. But that won't be out till, like, May? Ish? I don't know. May Wait a minute. Does this sticker wrap all the way around? Is that what this is? Is it... I just pulled off the right sticker. Don't tell me they're going to do a wraparound sticker. Man, I never thought Lego would think of doing a wraparound sticker. Never have I ever... Thought about that. I'm gonna skip this ad. Alright. <clears throat> and my phone vibrates a lot. Alright. Boom. There's one. Oh, now we get to put the little thin pieces on. Here we go, dude. All right. So one of these is just going on. It's not getting anything. Like that. But then one of these is getting number four. Which will be this one. Which you guys can't really see me build now. You can just see me put stuff on. But that one gets that one. And then this last one gets number three. Not like the actual number three. It gets sticker three all right i want to have all these like straight they feel kind of loose there we go all right i'm gonna move the stickers back out of the way all right one one do not roll anywhere one One, one, all right. I think this is another wraparound sticker thing. All right, spin, baby spun, number one. This is where all the stickers come in play, right here. Which makes sense, it's the decorating bag. Every Lego set has a bag where you put all of the finite details on. All right. This in there. And then rotate it around. I put another sticker on the other side. Getting really good at putting these on without having to use, like, my tweezers or whatever to put them on. Okay, flip it over. This one goes here. This isn't a bad royalty-free song. I just don't want to listen to the ad. All right. One of those. One of those. Yep. And the music's loading now. It's buffering. I'm going to try clicking on a different song. There we go. Okay, it was just that song. Alright, and then I need two of these and one of these swords. So we'll start. 
by putting these on the bottom. Wait, what? Did anyone know swords could go in like that? I didn't. That's completely new for me. Here comes it. Man, I messed up. There we go. They're both supposed to go in at the same time. All right. And then one, one. One, 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 one. All right. I said I needed one of these, not two. Get out. All right, boys. Here comes another wraparound sticker. So we'll apply it right there, and then do our little wrap around. See, I like I applied that sticker, and it's really perfect. I just got my hand. Music's pretty dang. All right, rotate it around. It goes right here in this little caveat. Now I need these three planks again. Of course, one is going to be normal. One is going to be sticker four. Meet that on. Boop. And then one is going to be Sticker number one. Ugh. Keep dropping pieces everywhere. Boop. Wait, I think I put those on back. Yep, I put those on backwards. All right, I put them on in the wrong order. Not like backwards, backwards, but put them on in the wrong order. There we go. Now we Gucci. Okay. Need this. Not that one. This one. Okay, I don't care what QuickBooks self-employed. I don't know how many times I have to say this. Okay. We're good now. All right. Here it comes. I was gonna say, this sounds like a Christmas song. Whoa, I'm saving this one. It's Silent Night, but it's like a dark, it's titled Dark Piano Version, and it actually sounds really good. I have, a, I, man, I have a lot of respect for people who make these. They, they do a really good job when they make like these music remixes and all that kind of stuff. You don't necessarily have to use it for a Christmas video. You could just use it in general. All right, last sticker is now applied. We're done with the sticker sheet. Gooch, 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 goochie. There we go. All right. Now we're moving on to this. And I need two. 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 Whip. Whip. And then... Actually, I need the sword. Did 
Did I put the other sword in right? Hold on, I gotta adjust this other sword. There we go. Now I did. Now it's in correctly. Boom. I'm over here. I'm over there. there. Right there, I can see you. If you can see me, why don't you shoot me? Ow! That was like in my kidney! Why do you want to conquer Ninjago so badly? It's because a long time ago, I lost something. What, what, what happened to your child? I like how he assumes it's a child. Someone very special. What, what happened to your child? Was bald, had no teeth, couldn't chew, always crying. I'm working on memorizing the whole script. I'm a, I'm hashtag hype. I have the whole Lego movie script memorized. Music Girl has the entire Cars movie script memorized. I'm smelling some good videos here. And if you don't see me, like you can see right there. This is a better turret design than in some Star Wars sets. Not gonna lie. Thought Lego was anti-gun. Maybe that was just in Lego City. Pretty sure Lego was anti-gun now. Oh, what am I building now? Curious. I don't even know what I'm building at this point. Alright. I'm building something. With the leftover pieces. I wonder if there's someone who has to build these sets to make sure all the pieces go together. Well, I understand there's a design phase where you, like, they design it. But I wonder if there's someone who, like, wants the set, like, they produce one, and they go through, and they make sure everything works. You know? Like that. Like that kind of thing. You know? I don't even know where this is going. I don't even see it on the box. Uh... Okay, let's stop with this ad. Please, let this be the last song. Alright, it's two minutes long. Let's see if I can wrap this up in two minutes. Or if I can at least get this section done in two minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, uh-huh. Okay. Where's this going? It's like a telescope, but I don't know where it's going. Wait, what? It's going in the front, like right here. Wait, they don't advertise that anywhere on the box, do they? Oh, they do. They do. They just don't advertise it on the front of the box because they want to show Garmin on the front of the box. And I just not the hot dog stand over. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I got you, Lego. I fully got you, dude. And I just put the shooters in, which means we are done. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is sadly the final set. See, I'm going to show you what they were talking about with putting this thing on the top. So, what you're supposed to do over here is it's like a cockpit thing. You take this off. Garmadon can sit in there or he's supposed to be able to yeah it goes far enough down that he can sit in there although they don't have like pegs or anything for him to lean on so he's kind of just supposed to sit in there loose and then you can put this hood thing back on and garmadon's in there so that's for like when he's submerged in the water sneaking up on the city that kind of thing so yeah. Guys, that's the last live build I have for you. Probably for a while. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I don't know when my next build will be because I don't know when I'm getting my next set. So, ugh, if you guys enjoyed all my live builds, don't forget to check them out. They will be on the end card at the end of the video, obviously. Um, so, yeah, you guys can 
hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That would be notified when I do have another live build. And um, yeah, you can also check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch in the description. And I will see you guys in the next, see you guys in the next stream, whenever it is. Peace out.